<clears throat> Hi everyone, welcome to Karen from tillycrass.stampinup.net uh, Today you're joining me, it's the 15th of October for Stamp Around the World video hop and the theme this month is insects so I pulled out this happiest day stamp set it's got a little dragonfly in it so I thought I'd use that so let's get cracking and see how we go I've also brought in these um perennial postage dies this in the annual catalogue and i've used um the rectangular one and a square one and i've gone ahead and i've die cut those out ready for us to use so i'm just going to pop them out of the way and i've got an envelope oh no i haven't i've got i've got an envelope got a card base which is a normal A4 cut in half scored in half I've also brought in three layers because I don't know which one I want yet so I've got a basic grey a pool party and a fresh freesia and I might not use that because it's got a mark on it so we'll get rid of that one for now and we'll just stick to these two the colours I'm using are basic grey pool party and fresh freesia and I'm going to emboss the back now i've got these basic ones there are three of them the other one's got big dots on i can't find it because i'm currently uh, rearranging my craft room and i've got a pile of stuff behind me that needs sorting out but i think i'm going to use this one with the like the hashes on it so we'll go ahead and we will do them after when i decide which one we're going to use so let's pop them out the way now i'm going to show you what how I stamped the dragonflies but I have already fussy cut two out so I'm doing the outline in basic grey because I really like basic grey I find it's not as harsh as black even though I do use black sometimes so I stamped the body down oh, I'm going to leave that out because I want that in a minute and then we're going to bring the pill party in and you have to just make sure so there's a straight line on the bottom and the curve on the top so that's the way around you want it so i'm just gonna try and line that up in there like so i've not quite got it straight but i can't get my head right over it <laughs> there we go that's a bit better on that side so that's the pool party one and then we're going to bring fresh freezer in and this one goes downwards the curve so again just line it up like that and then you can you can color them in you can with blender pens you can do it with these it's two-step stamping it's entirely your choice so i went ahead and i fussy cut two out to use on our card i will use them on a future card didn't think you'd want to sit me, see me doing all uh, all the uh, fussy cutting out on screen. So I'm going to take this stamp out of it. It says wishing you the happiest birthday. And I'm going to stamp that in basic grey. And I'm just going to stamp it in the middle. Like so. And then also with the basic grey, there's this little uh, stamp and it's got dots and like little flowers. Or you could use it as, um, what do you call them? Snowflakes. So I'm going to stamp off and I'm just going to stamp onto these squares. Let's stamp that again and fill in the middle. So I just wanted it subtle in the background and not too in your face. Oops, stamp off Karen. There we go. And that's our two squares done. And then they're going to sit on there like so. And on this one, I'm actually going to do it in pool party. Well, actually, I might do it in the fresh freezer because I can do, because um, we haven't got a fresh freezer base, so then I can uh, use the pool party one then. 
to again stamp off. And then just stamp it round like so, and that's that bit done. Oh, while we've got these out, I'm actually going to do a little dragonfly inside. So I'm just going to put one at the bottom like so, straight one across there. Oops, see, I've not quite got it lined up, but I'll actually just go over it again. There we go, it's a bit better. It's no good when you've got a camera in the way. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm going to bring in a bit of basic grey and just give it a bit of sparkle. There we go, that's my inside of the card. And I'm gonna do the same on the envelope. Well, I'm just going to uh, give it some, like that. And pop one of these on. Let's see if I can line this one up a bit better. Oh no, I've stamped it in grey, never mind, that's that and that done, oh need the card back, so for my layers we need to decide whether we want a basic grey one, these are going to go like this, like so, or do we want the pool party one? I actually quite like the pool party one. So we'll run this through. I've got my machine behind me. So we're just going to line that up in there. Let's pull it down a little bit. I'm pulling it down a little bit because you've got a line at the top. There we go. And for my cotton embossed machine, I'm going to use plate number one. And because it's a 3D, we just need to bring it in Oops. plate number four. And I'll just run that through. And I've dropped half of it, but never mind. So I'm hoping once this desk gets fixed, I'm getting a one that's going to be fixed to the wall so it should be more sturdier and then that way I can just do my cup embossing on here so make sure the cards are the right way up which it is that's going to go on there now my layer is like a quarter of an inch smaller but I'm actually going to take a slice off this side because I've obviously not measured it quite right so a little bit off. That's better. Happier with that. So I've gone like a quarter of an inch smaller. Now, my problem is I did have a new glue. Ah, oh, this one. Ah, oh, nope. Oh, this is the new one. I can feel it's heavier. There we go. Yeah, I bought new cupboards and everything. So I've had a right de stash of stuff. So some of them donating to a local school. So the kids can get playing with it. Right. <clears throat> oh, and I also thought I'd put a bit of twine on. So all I'm going to do for that is I'm going to pop a bit of tearing tape down. Take that up. 
and a trick to stop it being curly is you just run your fingernail down it and it straightens it out a bit. So I'm going to start it here. And make sure it comes out to the side. Slightly. Like so. There we go. Looks a bit of a mess, but you're not going to see that. And then this will go on like that. And we'll put some dimensionals on. And like I said, it is Stamp Around the World video hop. So below in the description bar is a link to all the other demonstrators that are taking part from all around the world. And it will be amazing to see what they've done. There we go. So next, I want these on. So I'm going to put three dimensionals on. Take those off. Put a little bit of glue on this corner. And then that is just going to sit like so. And do the same on this one. Um, a little bit of glue on there. And then we're going to bring the dragonflies in. Oh, look, I've just lost his tail. So you are going to have to watch me fussy cut one out. So I'm just going to curl his wings. And then I've got some mini dimensionals in there. And then we need one more dragonfly. And the trick is to move the paper and not your scissors. Love fussy cutting, but I'm not the best at it. And you feel under pressure when you're doing it on film. <laughs> This one's got a tail now, and then I'm just uh, curling it up. Another little dimensional, we can pick one up, pop him on there. I'll have him going that way. So, I've got the inside done, that done, and we need Winker Stella. I'm hoping. Yeah, there's some on this. I'm just going to give his, lee, his wings a bit of shimmer. And then we're going to finish off with some basic rhinestones. I love basic rhinestones. I haven't got any 
the pink ones left, so I've got all little ones. I tend to go a bit mad with rhinestones because I love them so much. Oops, stuck to me. more down here so I've got one two three four five six and for number seven there we go so I hope you've enjoyed this card um so we've used the happiest day stamp set we've used the postage perennial um dies and we've used the 3d basics embossing folders that come in a pack of three done the inside and where's our envelope we did have an envelope which i've stamped in the wrong color so he's gray but it's fine i don't mind so i hope you've enjoyed that thank you very much for joining me um again please check out everybody else's videos because there'll be some great inspiration and to see which insects they've used because we've got butterflies we have got bees and different things like that so it'd be nice to see what they've used thank you very much speak to you soon bye bye